This December, world leaders will come here to Copenhagen to agree on how to respond to climate change. We all have a stake in making sure they make the right decisions. So far, we've done virtually nothing to avoid the escalating damages from global warming. Carbon emissions keep rising. We're at risk of being the generation that did nothing. Bjorn Lomborg's Copenhagen Consensus Center advocates using the principles of economics to improve political decision making. We're launching the Copenhagen Consensus for Climate because it's important to have a conversation about the best way to respond to climate change. And to do that, we need to listen to the climate economists that are telling us about the costs and benefits of different proposals. In 2004 and 2008, the think tank gathered top economists, including Nobel laureates, to prioritize solutions to the world's biggest challenges. I think this is a very important exercise because it is telling you how to think about more concretely about different problems, different possibilities, and how we assess their importance. Copenhagen Consensus has not only created concrete political results, it has also initiated a heated debate. And that is not just because the name of the director is Bjorn Lomborg. No, it is in particular because your ideas are concrete and useful. And now we need this concrete input for the climate debate. This December, governments from all over the world are going to meet here in Copenhagen to negotiate the next climate treaty. The Copenhagen Consensus Center has commissioned 21 groundbreaking research papers from top climate economists examining different solutions to global warming. We could cut carbon or methane, we could plant more forest, or we could even geoengineer the climate. We have lots of options. An expert panel is considering the research and announcing the combination of solutions that would be the most effective. But it's important we all get involved in this discussion, because if we don't find the appropriate responses to global warming, we could be the generation that lost another decade. Time is short before politicians set the course for the planet's answer to global warming. Now's the time for a debate about whether they're on the right path.